hi guys you're welcome to my channel to my new subscribers you're welcome to my space thank you for subscribing to this channel and to my old subscribers you guys are amazing thank you and keep watching my videos so in today's video i'll be talking about how you can boost your red blood cells level the things the body needs and the nutrients you need to add to your diet to improve the production of your red blood cells our body produces three types of blood cells. The first is white blood cells, which help our body to fight infection. In my last video, I talked about the important role white blood cells plays in our body to keep us healthy. So if you have not seen the video, do well to watch it. I'm certain it will be of great help to you. So the next cell is platelets. Platelets helps for blood clots. Okay, have you ever wondered why each time you get injured, after a while, the bleeding will stop? This is because of the presence of platelets in your blood. If you don't have enough platelets in your blood, you find out that when you get injured, the bleeding will not stop. Okay, so platelets is a very important cell that is present in our blood. The third cell is red blood cells, which is the one we are talking about today. Okay, so these red blood cells contain hemoglobin. Hemoglobin helps red blood cells to carry oxygen from the lungs to every part of the body. When we breathe, we breathe in oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide, okay? So the red blood cells carries oxygen from the lungs and takes them to the parts of the body that needs it. Every organ in our body is made up of, you know, cells and these cells need oxygen to survive. Some organ can ad adjust a little when there is uh, low oxygen but prolonged hypoxia can lead to brain and kidney damage the same cells also excrete carbon dioxide and other waste materials out of the body through the lungs to the kidneys and you know digestive system okay so as the oxygen is coming in carbon dioxide and other waste products are going out these things happens at the same time we are we, are, we inhale oxygen carbon dioxide is being exhaled. So as we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide. So you can see how important these cells are. You know, they are very, very, very important. So we need to, you know, try as much as possible not to have less of them in our body. Anemia, which is a condition that occurs when your blood does not have enough red blood cells, can be caused by a lot of things. It could, it could be uh, due to excess bleeding, you know, maybe because of an accident or menstruation, especially for ladies that have, you know, a heavy flow, all right? It could be as a result of pregnancy. Pregnant women, their packed cell volume, their PCV level tends to decrease during that period. It could be as a result of, you know, intestinal disorder. It could be as a result of parasitic infection. You know, some of these parasites, uh, some of these intestinal uh, parasites, they tend to, you know, cause bleeding some of them feed off you know from our, our body so it could be as a result of autoimmune disease your body fights your own red cells okay your body destroys your red your own red cells it could be as a result of your body's inability to produce red blood cells so a lot of things can cause uh, anemia a lot of things can cause low red blood cells so let's look into the things that we need to eat to help boost our red blood cell. The first is iron rich food. Iron helps to boost the production of hemoglobin, which in turn increases your red blood cell count. So we need to eat food that are rich in iron, food like red meat, eggs, beans, fish. So we need to include these things to our diet and you know eat them so that it can boost you know the production of our hemoglobin so that our red cells can increase. The next is folate. Folate is a type of vitamin B that you know our body needs for the production of red blood cells and white blood cells in our bone marrow. So the supplement of folate is folic acid. You can get it from any pharmaceutical store or you can decide to get it from natural means. You can get it from uh, green veggies like broccoli, spinach, lettuce, green pea. You can get it from liver, banana. So all these things they have high folic acid content. Next is vitamin B12. Deficiency in vitamin B12 can lead to abnormal development of red blood cells and prevent their growth. The condition is called megaloblastic anemia. So in order to prevent this anemia, we need to eat food that have high content of vitamin B12. You can get it from soy milk, you can get it from cereals, fish, egg, meat, 
uh, and so on and so forth. So this food, they are rich in vitamin B12. The next is copper. Copper does not directly help in production of red blood cells. It boosts our red blood cell count by improving the absorption of iron. Okay, it helps to absorb iron into the body and we have talked about the importance of iron in production of red blood cells so the more we take copper rich food like cherries oysters potatoes shellfish you know the more iron that are needed for production of red blood cells are being absorbed into the body thereby increasing our red blood cell count the last but not the least is vitamin c just like copper, vitamin C does not directly affect the production of red blood cells. Instead, it improves the absorption of iron. So it's advisable that after two hours of eating iron-rich food, you can take fruits that are rich in vitamin C, like grapes, strawberries, oranges, you know, to help absorb those ions into your body for, you know, more production of red blood cells so guys this is where i will end this video subscribe to my channel share this video save a life by sharing my video you never know who needs it it could be someone close to you or someone far away from you like and comment and stay blessed see you in my next video bye say what you want to say to me now i want